Ah. Oh, let me get my picture out. <laughs> the joke. I do Why remember. You see those? I'm pretty sure I've seen columns like these before. I know I didn't take a, j a picture as a joke, but I'm pretty sure. Wait, do we have to memorize these ones? Yes. Oh, okay, never mind then. Well, the fact that you Gee. didn't take a picture earlier is actually not too oh, wait, hold on, let me take a picture. Alright, we're good. <laughs> oh, boy. So anyway, back to that story. So, obviously, I got in trouble for that first one. I see you. I'm taking, like, another picture so you can show me later and it'll be funny. Ha huh, ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was checking to make sure that I got that picture. Anyway, so... Earlier, to make sure we know what <laughs> it is. Jump, ski jumping over bombs. <laughs> I, like, drew, like, the little cartoon bombs. <laughs> like, the one... I can just see your Adam pictures, uh, your teacher's face. I can just imagine it. No, she was, like, a grumpy old Jew. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, she was. Her last name was Kleinberger. Uh, but she was a jumpy, grumpy old Jew, so it's okay. <laughs> Well, it is, it is okay. It's pretty funny. Yeah. To be but honest. anyways, um, yeah. So she was mad, and she she told me I had to do the assignment again. This time, don't put guns or bombs in it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And what you did you do it again? I yeah. I didn't. All right. Uh, here's the picture I took. Hold on. <laughs> uh, it's sun, moon, uh, puny star. Is that a guess, or did you actually... I did it? actually memorize it. I had two, because I had a feeling you would let me down. <laughs> a feeling? I got a feeling. Yeah, no. <laughs> Brown bricks. It's not funny. Brown bricks aren't funny. <laughs> he finally says it. That's not funny, guys. Stop it. That's an impression of me, uh, of somebody else talking to me and being wrong. Hey there, I'm Toadette. Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. These Blue cool boots. things. You'll be able to use a new technique. So let's practice it, okay? I forgot she shows up. If you up. press A at the right time when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. Timing is everything. Toadette. Just like the first game. Wow, that was perfect. You're a natural. Wanna try it again? Okay, that's just super. It looks like you've mastered the spin jump. You can smash through spots like this. That's exciting. That's it. You got it. You can use the spin jump in battle, too. Give it a try. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good voice for Toadette, by the way. I only have one girl voice, and you know what? I thought I'd try. No, you have two. You have, you have the regular girl voice, and then you have uh, Flurry. Miss Kitty. Oh no, we got a gusher! <laughs> <laughs> Big Mama. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember the part in Big Mama's house one? Where he's like in the disguise, sleeping like in the bed. Like how you distinguished... It's Big Mama's house one. Well yeah, not to be confused with Big Mama's but, house but two or would... Big Mama's. Like father, like son. Yes, but you would say <laughs> Big Mama's house, that's the name of the film. And then you'd say Big Mama's house two. If it was the second one. So if you just Whatever. say Big so Mama's big, House, big mama's I know house, what you're Big Mama's House, about. there's a scene where Martin Lawrence is disguised as Big Mama. Yeah. And he's he's in the bed, right? And yes. it's at night, and Sherry, his love interest slash yes. person he's trying to protect, is, like, scared. So she, he's, yes, she asks to come this. into bed. I remember this scene, this classic scene. And, and so she gets into the bed with, yep. with Martin Lawrence disguised as Big Mama. And, um... He gets a wiener, wiener bigger. Yeah, he gets a boner. And it's she's like, wiener. Big Mama, what is that? Oh, that's a flashlight, honey. And then he, like, actually pulls out a flashlight. Get it? Yeah, that's pretty funny. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you, our humor is just I had a big, I had a big toothy grin because <laughs> after Michael spent, like, 30 minutes telling that story about a scene that happens in Big Mama's house. <laughs> Everybody loves Big Mama's house. That's the thing Man, I remember. About I it. swear, if I seize your boinker, oh hell breaks loose. Fun fact: Roger Ebert gave it five stars out of fifty. No, he, he out of the four that he normally <laughs> gives. <laughs> Big Mama. Big Mama is my favorite movie. You 
did it! Yes, yes. Now we can get out of here. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna push these punies down the hole, which is harder than it looks because the damn things don't like to obey. Obey me. You're gonna have to. Because for some reason, they can't just follow you down cliffs. You have to do this. I should have just made it, like, easy. You know what I mean? It's just, like... Pretty much, yeah. Because <laughs> it's not, like, actually mechanically challenging or anything, or rewarding or anything like that. It's just annoying. But doable. It only took us, like, five seconds. So... Or, oh, star piece? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Now you can get, um... I can't remember if the ice spy badge is in this game. I spy. I spy with my little eye some brown bricks. <laughs> with my little mechanical eye. With my telescopic eye. Who do you think would, um... Who do you think is more powerful? Thanos <laughs> with four stones or Matthew Broderick? Matthew Broderick. Yeah. Okay, good. I, fig I figured you're gonna you like, get Finally, he gets one right. Dude, what the hell? I never How do that. that. This is what you don't seem to understand. I never do that. And what, you don't have any proof that I do. I have hours of my childhood that... That's not, that's that's not proof. Anyways. Now, we, now we've that's upgraded false memories, Mario's, what that is. Mario's base stats. So now he can kill enemies like this Yux, or Yax, or whatever it's called. I don't called. know what clockwork orange machine you were putting to make you believe these things about me. Did you believe I've never seen that movie? I haven't either. But everybody knows that part where they have the eyes and they have the... <laughs> Michael just acted it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. That's good shit. I did... That sucks donkey balls. I did not see that coming. <laughs> I get it because he's an ex -not. Yeah, he got it. He finally got one of my jokes. You can tell because he laughed. <laughs> Anyways, we're almost done with this dungeon. And thank God. Look at these fuckers. The fucking yucks. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> they're so weird looking. I like and there's guys. funky looking. I feel like we need an, an in-universe explanation as to what these monstrosities are. I believe they're genetically created creatures from the x -Not Fortress. Oh yeah? You yeah. got the part of the lore? The Lorax? My favorite part of the Lorax is when, um... That guy cuts down that tree. Let him die, let him die. Let him shrivel up and die. Come on, who's with me, huh? There's like a... <clears throat> Hold on, do your EPG plays thing for a second. Okay. There's a... Okay, so I guess Eric's gotta go clean up a mess real quick. So here we have a little puzzle. Which sort of reminds me of the sand falls from Dry Dry Ruins. Basically what we gotta do here is we gotta flood this room. Oh boy, there's some punies down there. Oh, that's... Oh, and here we got a little creative use of the coops mechanic. We gotta, we gotta hold the coops over there, wait for the switch to come back, and then let go. And then we drain water from this top floor down to the second one in a shot that is very similar to the shots of the sand falling down in Dry Dry Ruins that puzzle the same puzzle. You can't get across the room unless the sand's... You know, if that's what you want to call it. And there's a little chest down here too, and there's probably a star piece behind the stairs. Uh, so we'll go grab that real quick. Actually, no. Surprise... Oh, there is a dizzy dial. Okay, so there's something. But now that we have flooded the room, we have all our punies back. So I guess if they drown, they just automatically spawn up here. And we'll get them all... Alright, now we'll go over and grab this Shine Sprite real quick. Okay, so we've solved that simple puzzle. And have all of our punies. 
which will allow us to enter this room right here. So unless if you have all of your peonies, you can't get the boss of the Boggly Tree. Would you be scared if you spotted a big green elf in the woods? Yes. Oh, and this puzzle, this shot right here looks very similar to the one from Dry Dry Ruins, where after you put the three stones oh. in the thing, it lowers down. That's an homage, bro. I'm just gonna say that every time something annoys Michael in a game. I'm just gonna say it's an homage. <laughs> Alright, which means we got a boss coming up. And we got one of these. Big boss? Hey look, this, this very simple screen that's not in Breath of the Wild. So every time you pick something up, it just drops it. What do you mean? How, like, you know, your inventory is always full, but they don't give you an option of what to keep and what not to, so I they just that You do need a bigger inventory in that game, but, like, I don't know, that's a pretty weird thing to whine about, if you ask me. Hmm, let me see. That thing's gotta be around here somewhere. What's that? Oh, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. Oh. Puny. Oh, look at those weird puny statues. Oh, by the way, that, that thing in Breath of the Wild that you're talking about, you do realize that's an homage, right? Do you know what an homage is? Yeah, it's it's when, um, it's, it's a, the, you know, like a reference, you know, it's like a, they take something from an old game and it's like, a, like, hey, they're like, oh, this is cool, and they do it in there, and then, you know what I mean? Okay, so we got the green crystal star. It says that verbatim in, uh, the dictionary. Mario, look, 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 look. It's the crystal star. There's a picture of Michael Yoink. making a, 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 a scowl. Did he just, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just cool? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom, falls right in my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You should have been able to escape that cell. So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. I'm gonna use this to bury you in those squirmy puties and rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Mm. Dun, 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 so you have five dun, minutes dun, to dun, escape dun, the tree, dun, dun, dun. which is way more than enough time. Make sure you save those two little animals. I, could... <laughs> I wonder what That's Eric's referencing. Refer That's another video game reference. For you gamers out there. For you gamers out there, he says. Yeah. Alright, so I believe this oh, is... Oh, don't jump on my head! Ouch! My stands oh, are... My soft skull. <laughs> you pierced my skull like a... <laughs> oh, this ghost! <laughs> oh. Your words pierce my heart like an icicle. Michael's favorite character in any game ever <laughs> is Hades from Kid Icarus Uprising. No, don't act like he's not one of pity your favorites, Pat. too. Oh, pity Pat. Brown same brick. guy, the same guy who voices King Oh, my King love Yagubian. building brown bricks in Minecraft. Did I just mix up Mikey Goobian and King Goobot just now? Did you? I did. They are both equally evil. Yes, it is I, Mikey Goobian. Like, I'll put a picture of old Goob and young Goob, <laughs> and then Photoshop them together. <laughs> That's gonna, it's gonna it. take a long do it. time. Do it! Do it! Do it! Of course do you it. want me to waste my time in that. Do it! I wanna see you. So Five minutes. So if you take... That is how long it will take me to destroy you and destroy this loathsome planet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing... Oh man, because little goob is like so small and then big goob is so big, I don't even know how you do that. You probably just do their face, huh? You know, Eric, if you just think put it's... young goob's face on big goob. Eric, if you think it's so funny, why don't you spend the time to do that? No, it's such a waste of time. Exactly! You understand then? What do you mean? Do it. It'd be worthwhile. Do it'd be, it, it'd be worth it. it'd be worth your time. Anyways. Uh... Probably not worth 
rescuing them. You don't need them for the boss. <laughs> and I'm gonna need <laughs> when the this. tree explodes. Uh, that will be fine. 101 little Pikmin ghosts will rise up in the air. It's like when you at, when you get caught out at night with all 100 Pikmin. And everyone dies. Yes. Just like Infinity War. Infinity War. It's always a tragedy. Pikmin. Pikmin's oh, actually Pikmin's good. Yeah, I know. I, I've asked you whether we should play that on the show, and you said no. I didn't. Did I say no? Yeah, I think yeah. I said I wanted to like play it a couple times, so I'd make mm. sure to. Oh, wait, Eric, are you saying that you would practice? Yes. That's one of those games that's like worth it. I think. I like Pikmin a lot. I was surprised with how much you I like Pikmin. You won't be getting any farther this way. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? What do you get off talking to me like that? You got no respect, Red. Nothing smaller. great has a thing to do with my bite. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power activate. Oh, what's your problem, Grandma? <laughs> you got an ear hair tickling your brain or what? Is it supposed to be a woman? Oh, what? Ouch. Cut. Take another step. Oh. Is it supposed to be a little woman, yes. puny? What a time for my stupid what? back to start acting up. Is it really? Yeah. You hot-headed old coot. You dare defy me. I can shine my boots with you. Stop right there, Jack. My puny leather boots. You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker. Whoa. Now First give heck. us the crystal star and drink your sorry silk out of this tree forever. Oh, stinker? You guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I'd better shut off this timer. What happens? Game over. Okay, really? you pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. You guys like the Nintendo Labo? <laughs> That's got a great Awake, song. Awake, Magnus Rotten Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy. Dude, I wish all songs were this good. 